The Nobel Prize, now in its 120th year, remains the most revered of scientific awards. But while the prize and many of its recipients are household names, the people and processes behind the awards are less well known. Chemistry World recently met with Bengt Norden, former chair of the Nobel Selection Committee for Chemistry, to find out more. In this video, Bengt reveals how the committee investigates nominees to make sure the prize goes to the right person. What, are, what is the nature of those investigations and, and how do you do it such that you don't, yeah, yeah. You don't give anything away? Uh, we have to have a promise from the investigator that he or she does not leak, that it's completely secret. And, um, and he or she also knows that what they report, what they write, will be secret for at least 50 years. Mm. During my time, I was prepared to crawl in the bushes and spy and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and let me give you one example, Tanaka. It was very important to find out not only the path of conception, how his discovery had progressed into, led to that other people had followed what he said, but it was also important to see what, was he the one who did this? Mm. So we did actually some inquiries on, uh, 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 at the site and I had a person who several times visited um, uh, Shimatsu Company in Kyoto and uh, asked questions. And this person, uh, uh, she, uh, she called me and said she was quite worried now because he begins to suspect something. Exactly. And yeah. uh, I said, uh, well, then you have to take it carefully, but uh, what do you think he could uh, expect? Well, I think that since I'm on the board of the Japanese Society for Chemistry, he might think that we are considering him for a medal. And I think that then it's okay. Yes. Carry on. Yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> he, think, he thinks he's getting a prize, but he doesn't know which one. <laughs> There is another dimension of that, which is uh, we, we were discussing how we see who really did the discoveries. And uh, a big professor has a big group and um, there are many ideas in the group. Mm. And there could be a postdoc who uh, has been the one who uh, came up with the idea and even did the discovery. Uh, and we look very seriously into such cases. Um, I can't say. I, I you shouldn't. Can't tell us. Yeah, oh, I can't oh, tell you. Oh. I, I have, I have some food for yeah, uh, <laughs> sensational. <TV state>. <laughs> 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 but this is uh, this happens, yeah. and it's uh, difficult to reveal. And uh, um, sometimes you reveal it, and uh, sometimes you may suspect that uh, uh, the person, the uh, the representative of the group, might not be the one who really did the work. But uh, then we dig, and uh, we dig until we are satisfied and have a, a picture. And how do you actually dig into something like that? Do you start asking around the group? Do you yes. ask the other students? Yes, yes. we ask start the students. We ask uh, all these students who are left and uh, gone to uh, different places. And uh, the problem there is that uh, very often they have... Uh, they might be grumpy over something, and, uh, and then you have to disentangle that from real information and so on. So, uh, 